freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. What is up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze and Mythic. Show your draft our account from Bronze to Mythic, episode 19, draft 19. Try to build an oversold cemetery deck last draft. Missed it, go watch it on YouTube. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit all the buttons. If there's a comment, great that you like, right? You enjoy watching Bronze to Mythic, you watch a lot of the episodes. Um, if you enjoy it, then support it. it. Takes half a second, hit that like button. Super easy to do, barely any inconvenience. And um, yeah, Diamond's here for last draft was eh, I, a little bit of a bummer, honestly. The next team kind of cool, but just didn't really work out. But I'm um, just going to keep rolling along here and doing what we got to do. Trying to make the Mythic, again, the, the line is 21.5, and we're at draft 19. So you have three drafts left to try and make Mythic before the under, which I'd like to hit. Honestly, I haven't hit an, hit an under in a few sets, so. Pick one, pack one, Necropotence Redemption Arc. We did draft the Necro last draft, but we couldn't cast it. I would love to pick one, pack one, and Necro. I would love it. I, it probably wouldn't even be that good, but that would make me really, really happy. We'd also take Ashiok, too. Uh... All right, we found them. All right. This has been like our, our theme card of Bronze Mythic, Force Fruition. We've been drafted this card like four times already, but uh, we got a recruiter here, pretty easy pick. Uh, one of the best cards in the entire set uh, at Uncommon here. Imidane's recruiter, super, super good. Pretty good pack, honestly. Uh, Bitter Shell's obviously good, you know, even though it's blue. Edgewall ends a great card to first pick. Uh, Sword Ender's fine. A little soft to the one damage effects, but Hammock, Glutton, Minstrosity, all reasonable, but pretty easy recruiter here. Um, don't need to be red white. Can splash the uh, either half of it, honestly, and then it's obviously super insane. Cards insane, so not much to say here. Of course, the numbers you see here are the Draftsmith overlay. Uh, top number here is the dynamic. Is the uh, um, I don't know why it's screwed up, but the top number here is the LSU set, rank, set review ranking. Bottom number is the uh, dynamic ranking based on all the games ever played and untapped and all the cards you already have. Great helper, free to download. Untapped.gg tracks all your games as well. Just an unbelievable amount of data you, you can get off of your. Uh, off your arena games are super, super cool. So check it out, download it for free, use the link in chat or in the description, untap.gg. Hashtag sponsor, but I used it before I was sponsored anyway. All right. Um, not a great pack, honestly. This is a pretty, pretty middling pack. We had a rare missing. We have a bunch of like really tier two uncommons uh, and then not really any good commons either. The only good red card, only red cards, Mary Barge, not very good. Light Blades is fine. Uh, but usually the red-white deck is a little more offensive, so it's not like the best card. And then everything else here is kind of eh. Uh, Nightly Bower doesn't play as well as you as you think it would, because the adventures often take up your five-drop slot. So if you have like an Emidane's Recruiter and like the, the Double Strike guy, that's two five-drops already. You can't play that many fives. That being said, it is a fine card in a red-white red, red, aggro deck, um, and I think it is better than Light Blades. We do kind of want to be red-white. Butcher is fine, but not like great. So I'd rather just take the, uh, the on-color card here and try and see how red-white works. So taking the Valor, uh, it has a high score because the set review rankings are from, uh, they're from the, the, it, when the set first came out. And Nightly Valor was a sick card in its, pre in its prior formats. Isn't as good in this format because of Adventures. But all right, you pass it back with a rare missing and an uncommon missing. We see two good blue cards, even though blue is kind of bad. And then we get Cooped Up, which is obviously a good white card. No red cards, though, which is kind of scary. Although Splashing Recruiter is totally reasonable, too. Um, two very good blue cards here. I don't mind being blue, but it is a very, very shallow color, and you really, really want to be sure it's open here. And with a rare missing, no real huge signal, so it's they cooped up. Super safe. And uh, if we end up being, you know, white X Splash the Recruiter, it's to totally fine also. So, yeah. Click's pretty good, but... Click is also a white card, I guess, technically. But... Yeah, I just take the cooped up. Just a saver pick. All right. And uh, a little thin once again. I mean, Hamlet Glutton is a good card, obviously. It's green. Grabby Giant's pretty good, too. You know, all, all the white cards here are cards you don't really want in your deck. Uh, just all very middling uh, middling filler level cards. Minstrosity is pretty good. Glutton's, Glutton's the best card in the pack, but green isn't really a, cl is there, is there really a clear avenue to green here. Um, I guess, like, we could be, like, green, white, splash the red. That could be, like, a thing, possibly. Um, I think it's just Grabby Giant, though. Giant is a very solid card. I don't know. Glutton's pretty good, too. It's close. I think it's close here. I do like green decks. Green doesn't seem particularly open, though, honestly. Just like Grabby Giant. All right. We got Stab Wound, Hope of Vigil, Grabby Giant. Again, Stab Wound, very overrated. 
Uh, Vigil's excellent. It's like one of the best cards, the best two drops you can have in the, in the red-white deck. So looking decent for red-white here, honestly. I mean, uh, another Giants, whatever. You got, you know, Stab Wound. You know, it's just not as good as it looks. Shadow of the Oath is okay. Just, you know, kind of a middling selection of cards here. Kind of soft pack so far, but take the Vigil. Ooh, okay. And let me see some blue cards. So uh, Archive Dragon is pretty is a house. Uh, that's six tough. This is absolutely huge. Uh, Picklock Pranks is always really, really good if you're like blue-red. Uh, or blue black, uh, not really a card I would want, would want to first pick though to get me into blue. Um, the problem here is that the white red cards are terrible. Uh, Minstrosity is obviously fine. Obviously not black though. I agree the ratings need to be updated. I agree. I passed the feedback along, but I can't control that. So I'm taking the prankster. Bitter Chill also. Yeah, blue is really, really open. Um, blue is not good, but it, I, I don't mind. Like the As long as your deck is a lot of uncommons, your deck is fine. So Bitter Chill here is excellent, and no other card to be compared to it. So, all right. Ice Rod Century. Yeah, all right. Looks like we're going the blue route, folks. Um, that's a bunch of good blue uncommons in a row. A couple Catapults also, but take the Century. We table force fruition, um, which is a card we can play. It's definitely a good and like a blue eye control deck. Uh, blue is the worst card set, yes. Uh, a bunch of middling red cards, and then a mocking sprite, which isn't particularly great. I'm down to be blue eye control. I don't mind that at all, honestly. Taking force fruition. Spellcaster tables. Uh, Spellcaster is fine. Moment of hours also fine. Probably a little better in blue-white than it is in blue-red, where it's a little awkward you don't always have a creature, but I'm in. All right. Uh, Sprite, Ice Out, which is Mark. I actually don't mind Ice Out, honestly. Right now, we're like... Blue-red is usually the blue um, the blue I'd like to be. Uh, we have some white cards, too, though. Let's take the Ice Out. Mocking. All right, we're in. We're playing blue, folks. Here's Stopgap. So we have effectively like three white cards and two red cards. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of flexibility here. Open Torch Tower is obviously one of the best possible cards we can get. Um, again, I prefer to be blue red than blue white. Uh, blue red is actually my favorite blue deck for sure. Uh, and we can always splash cooped up and splash the Imminent Recruiter uh, train troops. And we lose Vigil and Valor. It's not a big deal either. So I think we're blue red. So it takes Torch to Tower. And uh, we didn't pass much red, honestly. So hopefully we'll see a lot of red this pack. Yeah, I'm in. This is great. Torch is also really important in the blue-red decks. If you, if you, if you don't have that many ways to uh, to, to bargain. And you want to get uh, hatching plans, which is really good. So Pretty bad back, though. Uh, two blue cards that are both bad. And then a bunch of red cards, most of them bad. Ember Earth Veteran is not exactly a card we're looking for in our blue-red kind of control deck. Uh, but... It's probably the best card in the pack, honestly. I mean, Gravity Giant number two is fine also, I suppose. I guess Giant's better than the blue-red deck, so. I'm gonna take the Giant. There you go. There it is. Uh, is it Hatching Plans over Bitter Chill? I know folks on YouTube have been complaining that I've been passing this card because the YouTube you know videos that are going up now are from like a few weeks ago before Worlds, but Hatching Plans is insane. Uh, it is definitely the card we want. We have a, we have a stop gap also. Bitter Chill is also great, though. Uh, but I think Hatching Plants is, is the is the ticket, honestly. Um, we already have a Torch Tower. We already have uh, a Stop Gap. And we're working on getting more, obviously. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Hatching Plants all day. Collector's Vault is also pretty cool. Quick Study, Grotto. Vault's kind of cool if you're, like, trying to do some bargainy stuff and do a little splashing. It's kind of slow, though. Quick study Grotto. Um, I definitely want Grotto in my deck because we have uh, we're definitely playing these these two two colors. We're already pretty unplayable. Still taking the Grotto. Quick study is fine, but I don't think we need that. Iron Crag, Stopgap, Firebolt. Firebolt is murder in this deck. This is Firebolt is basically the reason why Blue Red is good uh, because in Blue Red this card is just murder, and that's just obviously an excellent first pickable card that most people don't want. So Iron Crag's cute. Uh, second Stopgap is kind of cool. Obviously, wouldn't mind catapults as well, but it's a pretty easy firebolt. So, so it looks like we're probably splashing for cooped up 
and Eminem's recruiter. We got another ice out, a slinger, and then nothing. I don't mind slinger because obviously blue red is one of the few decks in the format that's a, actually a defensive deck. So the skewer, the skewer is pretty good. Tempest Heart's terrible, so much both sides aren't good. Um, take the slinger. Say we are. This Valor can get out of here. This Vigil can get out of here. Uh, Firebolt Recruiter stock. Yeah. Spellcaster honestly isn't even that good in this deck. You should not have to have that many creatures usually, but. Alright, we got a late Tome Seeker, which is excellent. Uh, it's a bargain card. That's also it's really, really good. Hunter, trainee, whatever. Yeah, pretty easy to. This card's great in this deck. One, this is another card which is like excellent, but only really good in the blue red deck, and no one wants it, so. Like the Tome Seeker. Ah, what? I'm seeing double here. Four Krusties. Uh, second Tome Seeker. I'm in. Can I actually get things to do on two mana, obviously? But, yeah. Love it. Uh, trainee, super late. Not great in our deck, honestly, but we need two drops, obviously, so it's fine. Not the best blocker of all time, but it is what it is. Uh, sure. I doubt we're even playing two giants, two giants, honestly, but we'll see. So, got some cheap spells here. Right now, our two drops are Prankster, Trainee, Slinger, that's really it. So, I like to not play Ice Out. Mocking Sprite's pretty bad, too. Um, sure. Uh, that's fine. So, decent start, though. Um, quick study table, sick. What's up, uh, Avia? First time chatter, I want to say hi. Mr. Love from Minstrosity. Fun fact, the Italian card name is Bandito Candito. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Bandito Candito. All right. Oh, boy. So, pack three comes along, and what do we open but the, uh, the Wrath? Um, Rat's obviously pretty insane, and it's also pretty insane in our, like, our kind of, like, control deck. So, we can, like take the Wrath and be blue-white splashing red. Just splash Torch Tower, uh, Firebolt, Recruiter. Yeah, we're taking the Wrath here. Uh, there isn't even a card, another card we could possibly take, so it's pretty easy. All right, take the, take the Wrath. We get past a Sleep Cursed Fairy, which is pretty good, honestly. I think the Torch Tower is better, though. Honestly, this pack's juiced. Torch, Cut-In, and Hearth Elemental. Love Hearth Elemental in this deck, but... I think I want Torch over Sleep Curse Fairy, honestly. We're not really doing fairy things. We don't really need some random creature. Um, and, like, as we saw in the last draft, like, we just can't afford to fall behind. You know, the, the early kill spells are so important. You have Hatching Plants also. Uh, it's Torch Tower. Yeah. Fairy never wheels, I don't think, but take Torch. Curiosity, Frolicking Familiar. Familiar is really good also. Yeah, sure. Not sure if we're playing this, uh, this Wrath or not. We'll see. Cut in. Because red seems super open now, so sure. Oh, there's a click, too, actually. What's better, cut in or click? That's a tough question. We are a more defensive deck. Uh, and this is just a two-for-one. And we're not using the uh, the young hero role particularly well. I think it's a click, actually. Um, it's two-for-one. We're a control deck, yeah. All right, sure. It also helps us go white, too. So, pretty base white. Another Tome Seeker, as well as a, a Johan. I'm a pretty big fan of Johan. That fifth tough is really important. Um, we're going to Johan. Yeah, the Wrath might not make the deck on it. We'll see. We'll see how, how our, our, our... I lost some fixing. I haven't really got any fixing yet, but... Yeah, third Tome Seeker is a little much. Take, take the Johan. Uh, another Johan. A Firebolt and a Gadwick's First Duel. Damn. Gadwick's First Duel is so good in blue-red. Uh, copying a Firebolt or a Quick Study is just really, really good. Uh, even cut copying torch tower is great too. The thing is, we also have a firebolt here, which is murdered our deck. So this is tough. Uh, I want like one more spell for Gadwick's first duel. I got the duel though. It's a freaking duel, just so good. Uh, it's a dragon, but we don't want it. I don't think. Uh, a stopgap, but we're a little light on things to bargain. I don't think we need a way to win. I mean, dragon does sort of do that for us. Yeah, we have plenty of, the, of ways to, to bargain, so it's fine. Right, let's take the dragon. Uh, Gatekeeper's also solid. Gatekeeper's the reason why you don't want dragon. Because, like, it's a good 6-drop, but also a good early spell, too. Take this. 
take the rare. Uh, man, what what is going on? What is? Are you drinking? Are you drinking while we're playing Magic right now? What's going on here? Take the cut in. Uh, we got some cuts to make, obviously. I think we're just not playing the Wrath. Honestly, like, I don't ever play Cooped Up. Like, our only fixing is the one land. Um... Yeah, this is gone. This is gone. We're, we're straight blue-red. I'm very sad I only, only, only have one Firebolt, but... If Grabby Giant for Imidane's Recruiter, and, like, that's it. I just start fixing. It's fine. Um, first one's great. Catapult's actually pretty good, too. Play, we, play, we play Recruiter off Grotto and, and two Grabby Giants. Dragon's fine. I can see not playing it, though. I don't think we really, necessarily need it, you know? We have a lot of playables right now. All right, take a look. Not uh, the exact blue red deck I would I would like, but um, it's a little clunky in spots. But we'll see if we can think we can fix it. Ah, oh, oh. so close, man. Nine nine nine. All right, so twenty eight cards here. Dragons unnecessary, honestly. And then stopgap, spellcaster, click. Especially so for click too, I guess. Might play one planes. We'll see. Uh, cut in double giants. Johan, familiar century study. Tome seeker, fireball recruiter, catapult. Definitely don't need two slingers. Um, it's twenty six cards, man. A lot of cards here. A lot of cards. Uh, honestly, training's not very good in this deck. We don't make use of the rats very well. Um, I guess it is bargain fodder technically. The convenience store draft, nine ninety nine. Um, how many creatures do we have? Fifteen creatures. Holy crap! That's a lot of creatures. We're actually playing a lot of creatures. So this spot, this but this spellcaster actually isn't that bad. Um, gotta cut like two cards here. How many hits do we have for Prankster? Oh, wow. We only actually have seven hits for Prankster. That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, kind of a weird kind of a weird deck here. Uh, we're definitely a little creature, heavy, creature heavier than I would like to be. I think Prankster can go, though. Uh, we only have we only have seven instant sorceries. Actually, makes the, I think it makes Catapult bad. I also maybe the some adventure cards, too, but it makes Firebolt not as good as I would like it to be. But Sentry's just a good card. I'm just gonna cut the prankster too. Yeah, with only Yeah, we have two fairies. We have eight hits for it. It's eight enough. Math me somebody. Eight successes in a forty card deck. Four cards. Doesn't sound very good. Uh Catapult's just like not super great. Uh first duel copying Firebolt, obviously insane. Cupping Study is good. Slide of Hand's good. Torch Tower is good. Yeah, we gotta play that one. We could not play Force Fruition, I guess. Maybe we just don't need it. We're not as controlling as I would like to be. So, maybe Dragon's just better, actually. Yeah. Still gotta cut a card. Um, let's the Prankster. I've played so much Force Fruition in this series... We've played Force Fruition in like four of our decks in this in this run, so I don't want to hear about Force Fruition. Alright, so this curve looks a little bad, but like this is a three drop. This is like a two drop in theory sometimes. Um, definitely a weird one. This is a pretty odd looking blue red deck. Usually my blue red decks have like four creatures, so. Now nah, we're playing Tome Seeker. Tome Seeker's pretty... Ah, you know what, actually? That's right. We're actually light on, on spells. So, maybe you just we just don't play Tome Seeker. Just, play, just cut one of them. We have a lot of, we have, we have a lot of ways to bargain, too. And then I'll allow me to add back in... Well, these, what would I play instead? Like the Catapult, maybe? Just a good blocker. We're not playing Prankster, because it's just, it's just a whiff. We're going to whiff. I mean, like, 
Oh, man. Prankster is excellent. We only have seven hits for it, though. Or eight hits. The math's not great, you know? Um, Catapult blocks fine. It's, not, it's actually not, not, not a great blocker, but so many, so many cards that push through it. Maybe just Prankster. Like, if we miss, we miss. Whatever. You know, like, so it's still a flyer. It's still a creature. Whatever. It's not 20% in a spell. We're you know, eight out of uh, whatever. The fairy's just bad. Just dies to rat out, dies to click a coin. It's not a very good card. Um, the eight is like pretty low, but. This is 24. I don't know. Second Tome Seeker seems pretty good. I know we don't, we don't have that many spells, but they are all super high impact. And just a 3 2 is just whatever. He's playing a block with the new cares. I'm playing that. I'm just going to cut, cut the Prankster. Play Second Tome Seeker. This is fine. Play Grotto. And colors a little heavier on blue. So no planes. So we've got two Gravity Giants for treasures and a Grotto to splash our uh, Imidane's Recruiter and our third button click and then we've got a decent amount of early removal spells kind of a, a weird looking blue red deck it's a little bit of an awkward as far as blue red goes but that's our deck so prediction time folks what do you think youtube folks take a second pause the video scroll into the comments and liking the video along the way come on like that video and type in the comments all caps believer or non-believer what do you think seven wins yay or nay let's rock and roll all right, here we go. Hand is great. Non-believers suck. Chat coming out in me. Snap keep. This hand is excellent. Uh, everything you ever wanted in this hand. Thanks, Limbo. Slide a hand me. Uh, we want the study, I think. Yeah, take the study. So we could like hatching plan, sack the tome seat. We could do a lot of things here. The line is 21.5 drafts to Mythic. We have, we have some work to do. We gotta, I gotta have some pretty good drafts. We, we, we have three episodes left to try and make it. So, Hatch those plans. Next turn is a Tome Seeker, I think, and return the sleight of hand. Nah, I'll, I'll just turn hand size then. We'll see what happens. Not a huge rush, so. Here's the catapult. We got a blue-red mirror. Okay. So you go land. If I go Tome Seeker, yeah, I'll pull up the discard, so... Um, it's funny. So then I just quick study into the discard anyway. But I mean, playing Tome Seeker means that I can I can pick off this thing next turn when they block, which is pretty good actually. So, um, so I have to discard one card to hand size. Still kind of sucks. Otherwise, I'm 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 quick studying though. In which case, I'm, I have any more cards to discard a hand size. I could just cast the familiar, I guess. Yeah, I guess the blow seems not going to do much against them. Sure, I'll just cast our cards. Honestly, we have so much card draw available that, like, just cast the freaking cards. Trade one for one, draw a bunch of cards. Cow on the map reset, thanks so much. Probably going to die, but whatever. Oh. Look at this hat. We're looking to get cards out of our hand onto the board, not uh, the opposite. So, quick study, we'll be, we play it later. We're also going to just cut it and kill this and put a counter on this also next turn if they don't kill it. So, you can draw land for that, but figure it out. Pollen's going to tank, though. Turn four in the tank. We got options. A lot of options. Opponent's tapping the vault, leaving a blue blue, which is unnecessary because of the prism, but look, they probably have ice out with a counter spell. I tank two to be fair. Yeah, I mean So Alright, so they have the ice out card. They have a vault. Do I care if they counter cut in? I don't think I do, actually. Uh, whatever. Because I, I can get it back anyway. It's on there for the board. So yeah, do this. Clear your thing. Do the thing. 
What do you got? Hell yeah, I'm excited for hockey. Frolicking familiar. Great. So, nailed it. Call the car they had. I think trading our cut in for uh, for that's fine here. Attack for three. They don't get to loot. And now next turn I can get I can tow seeker the back of the cut in, which is great. They may make a land drop, grab your giant. All looking pretty good. Good exchange, giving the relative value of how of cut in in this current spot. The old Volsky. Fire away. Draw a card, discard a card, make a treasure. Discard him out. Sure. We draw Archive Dragon. All right, so let's start casting spells. We're going to leave up red and try to draw land. So we're going to go Tomb Seeker, Return a Spell. So Tomb Seeker, Return a Spell. I have four cards up to eight cards. We need to draw land off this, but I think that's a reasonable thing to... Uh, to ask for, drawing, drawing three cards here, so. Wrath reset, thanks so much. All right, Drew Land, gas. Return our cut in. Play land. Firebolt's great. Okay, I think blue-red is the best blue deck by a lot. All right, we're just gonna uh, grab your giant main phase. No, no reason to, uh... Not take a point of damage here. Hands juiced. Got a million spells in our hand. They gotta make some rats, sure. Blue red is very fun, I agree. Alright, 16. Um, we get to cut in next turn, I guess. We block her for the rats. I want, to kill, I want to kill this wall. Boros and Rakdos, the most common decks for sure. Alright. Uh, we have one of those too, but... Maybe we uh, we just bitter chill this dragon, actually. We bitter chill the dragon, and then... I don't know how much, much else to do, uh, much, much else to do honestly. Try to top bottom. One card left, and we're juiced on cards. So, bitter chill, pave attacks, and just say go. I guess we could like giant again, just like one extra prowess attack. Waste treasure, make treasure isn't necessary though. Yeah. All right. Sure. Let's do this. Target this. Tap that bad boy. Get out of here. And then... Again, can... That's mine here for one extra point of damage. But... I think I'd rather have extra more mana next... Or have... It's the same amount of mana, but... Hmm... One card in hand. Fourteen. We're not really racing. Yeah, just so you go. Alright. Take one again. They can do their own, uh, that's mining. Sure. Giant's pretty good here because they have the vault making tokens also. They're hurt. Oh my god. Alright, well, their their hand just got much, much better uh, with the giant and the hearth. This card's so freaking good. Hearth level's insane. Uh, it currently costs four for them though, which is good. I guess I can't cast it yet, which is nice. Um, 
We have cut in and firebolt. We have plenty of things to do here, but. Yeah, I do want to kill this catapult. It does chip away, you know. What in the world? The Apprentice Folly. Four mana, choose a target non-token creature you control. It doesn't have the same name as token you control. Make it to its copy, but it isn't legendary. And it's like, so they have a way to bargain this. They get to keep it. This card's like really, really bad. But like, if you can bargain it, it's like fine. But sure. Uh... Obviously, Max punishing us for not killing the dragon and leaving it in play, which we couldn't kill it anyway, but... Alright, that sucks. Um, probably just playing our own dragon, then. They find a way to bargain this, we're in big trouble, honestly. We could bounce this, uh, even though, but the thing is, the ward makes it cost a lot to do. Top, top! Inconceivable! Come on. Who are these people, you know? Alright, let's have and draw. Another non land. Come on! Yeah, if we bounce now, they can copy it again. We should have cast Dragon here, I think. Just play around Dragon, scry some lands to the top. Alright, so... They get second Catapult. Which is kind of scary. I have to assume they have a way to bargain this thing, because they, uh, they top topped. They get haste, too? Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't realize that. I don't think they did either, actually. They gotta, like, play the guy that curses something. No, it's Tome Seeker. Right, yeah, I mean... This game's pretty gross. They got Counterspell. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. <laughs> like... Damn. Pretty unreal. I think this card's pretty sketchy. Um, you have to have a way to bargain it or it doesn't really work. You have to have, you have, to have, good, have a good creature in play also. So there's a lot of ifs of this card. You know, it's very clunky, but obviously worked out this game for them, so... I think we're going to cut in stopgap. I'm going to kill both walls. Um, we can firebolt the dragon later. And this is a lot of damage over the next few turns. So, and they might, they might counter one of these two. We'll see what happens. But oh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't have a, uh, a rolled sacrifice yet. Let's try this. Let's try this. Put the roll on the flyer, I guess. Will they counter the cut in? They do, it's pretty awkward, honestly, because I don't really, I don't really, really, really have a good play. It's bad. I think we're just dead. Huh, that sucks. Alright, yeah, I mean, I don't have to tell you. They pulled off the saga. Didn't think it was possible. We're at eight. Rough games today. It's so funny too, because like I obviously had to play off stream to get back to the rank we were at when we left off last time, because I, I was away, away at Worlds in the ladder reset, and I just freaking crushed everyone. Just seven wins every draft, just like never close. But then I get back on stream and I just can't win. Just like so funny. All right, yeah.
Vaulting. That's magic, baby, I know, right? Just gonna beat me a little faster, you know? The worst card in their hand is Threadbind Click. We are so freaking dead. <laughs> And am I familiar? Not my dragon. And they're gonna attack. Okay. Down to six, down to four. We need to kill both of these, basically, to have a chance to win. I mean, we can, we can kill them. We have Firebolt and Stopgap, so... <sighs> Alright, so we draw land. Uh... Just gonna stop gap. Just gonna kick it. Pretty rude, honestly. I get to kill this one now, so they get one less trigger, but it's still pretty bad for us. Rats, we're at four, we're at three. I think we're still dead, right? We started the, uh, yeah, we're, we're exactly dead. All right, well, that was a kind of frustrating game, but sure, I guess uh, them's the breaks. Ron Smith, I think, is brought to you by. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's try it again, please. All right. Ugh, thoughts of a Doctor Who products? Couldn't care less. I don't play Commander. I don't watch Doctor Who. There are too many products these days in Magic to even like pay attention to everything, so I haven't even been looking at them. Just couldn't care less. It's a weird, uh, a weird business strategy that you're produce or release so many products that the strategy is just like some people don't care, whatever, you know. Slide a hand for Firebolt or Recruiter uh, with no, uh, with no white in sight. We should take the uh, take this next turn. We got Sentry. We got Johan. Also pretty cool. Exelon thoughts. I mean, yeah, this should be cool. I don't know. One step at a time, you know. So they're going to Lord Skitter's Blessing. This card is one of the biggest trap cards in the entire set, I think. Uh, it just, just doesn't play very well at all. Um, it isn't going to make us use our Firebolt here, I guess, but like it's just so easy to turn off. Um, when, we, when I first saw it, I thought that was Total Bomb, because it looks very similar to the Call of the Ring from Lord of the Rings, uh, but it's not that at all. I could draw a land and play Johan. I think that would be ideal. Does make Bitter Show worse, that is true. It is very, very good against Bitter Show. Because <laughs> you have an enchanted creature. John's very fun, I agree. Didn't draw the land. Alright. Here's a sentry. Are we gonna get fed to the cauldron or are we gonna draw a card here? Oh, even worse. Okay. That's bad. Uh, here's a dragon. They steal two of my cards. The good news is that I, uh, if I draw a land, I can cut in the dragon, which would be gas. Please draw a land. Thank God. Oh, it's Helix. Oh, my God. All right. Now you got this chunky ice rod sentry. Love it. That was huge. That was huge. Now I have a roll to uh, bargain also, which is kind of gas. The witch is here. 
No problem. We draw a land. Okay. You're just sorcerer. Let's attack. No taps. You got a little rat out action? That's fine. Is it it is? What are you gonna do? Unless they have my otter. They brought out. Okay. So that sucks. Whatever. Never, never, never not attacking there. So. Top card's a gatekeeper. It's a sorcery, unfortunately. Can't cast it off the top on the upkeep. The sewer witch is here. That's pretty good with the, uh, the skitter's blessing. All right. Top card is an island. We can just bounce both of these. I, I can't. Yeah, we can't actually. So you can bounce bounce both rats here is kind of gas. So. Let's actually tap both. Oh, tap all of these. We're gonna draw this island to so bounce this. And then draw island. Top card is Gadwick's first duel. Make that work. And then bounce this. Oh yeah. Sorry, Lord Skitter's blessing. Today's not your day. Alright, no blocks. They have a curse on it next turn, so... Curse, play Slinger. I'm a coward, I know. I get it. Top card is... That's mine! Alright, ship that. And an island. Could have one of my torches also. Sorry, it's very true. Alright, so we're just gonna... Curse this witch. Well, I am king. And then we're going to... Attacking is fine here, right? Let's attack and play Skewer Slinger. Don't have a spell for Chapter 3 yet, but... The curse does want them blessing, it is true. But we are at 12 with a lot of card advantage, I think. This thing is fine. We're, we're ready to cast this at some point also, so like... It kind of just is what it is, you know? We effectively killed their creature. We have some bodies in play. We have to kill their next creature. As, as if this isn't on, you know, once this once this happens, they draw cards anyway. So like, whatever. It's not a May either. So we can just scry with our Johan too, which is kind of sweet. Still one of my cards left. Oh man. All right, well, pretty good target for Bitter Chill. <laughs> it's funny, it might have been better just to like put the thing back in their hand and cast t cast Taste again, right? I'm actually like happy that they, they, they did it like that. All right, top card is Torch the Tower. No, I have full control, damn it. Ugh. That's really annoying. I should have put it in full control in case I hit an instant, uh, but kind of a bad beat. All right, is it is. Top card's Torch. Um, we have we do want to actually copy a spell next turn. I think we could, we want to cast it though, just a free spell. So yeah, pretty annoying that I couldn't full control that one, but sure. Just gonna cast this and kill the witch. What? Oh, we're in full control. All right. So yeah. Top card hatching plans. It's. Awkward. I, I kind of wish I had uh, had held it then, but whatever. Sure, I couldn't have known that. All right, so sack of food and nug me. And we're going to play land, bitter chill, and grabby giant. You get to attack here, which is kind of cute. Um, So, there's definitely a chance we don't get to use Chapter 3 here, but whatever. Obviously, everything about that turn got, got, got snafu'd. We missed the Torch Tower on the upkeep. Then the next card was planned, so we should have just kept it maybe, but whatever, it's fun. How do you about Zach Wilson? He's a pretty bad quarterback on my team. Down to 9. We got the board here too, so... They're going to sack this to kill my Grabby Giant. Alright, I get to uh, scribe in a sec. Pay the 1. And, uh, scry one, then draw. Love it. Draw the hatching plans. Top card is an island. 
We're gonna make some rats and a trainee, sure. Alright. Word nine. We draw spawn. Oh, quick. Oh, what? Oh! oh quick study on top. I'm the best magic player alive. Four cards, please. Oh, full control. Oh, didn't, didn't work. God, come on. Whatever. All right. So that's really annoying again. Uh, but sure. Top cards, Tome Seeker. We've got Familiar, Giant, Torch the Tower. Um, hatching plans. But new sub. What's it anyway from? Welcome. Uh, we want to kill things here. I think we can like, let's see. We can go plans, giant, torch, familiar. I think drawing Tome Seeker is pretty good. Oh, it's tapped badly. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying to the interface today, folks. I'm sorry. All right. I'm not, I'm not being careful of the interface and every, it's getting me on every street. A lot of double red there, obviously, too. I can grotto. It's not a big deal, but like... Pretty annoying, uh, but sure. Let's uh, torch the tower. Bargain. Draw. And uh, we draw those. Top cards, trainee. Let's bottom that. Which is a little better. Top card is island. Let's play this. And then we can just freaking uh, frolicking familiar here, too. It's kind of cool. If I kill the witch, they won't draw any more cards. Yeah, let's kill that, actually. So, blow off steam, kill this. Just absolutely swimming in cards here, obviously. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten mana next turn. Six, seven, eight, nine is good. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Works for me. All right, back on board. Thank you for that. Needed that one. Mythic 18. All right, take it easy. Chill. You know, it's fine. Just a lowly diamond player trying to make my way in the world, you know? Say go. One top of this creature, please. No? All right, sure. Torch tower. All right. Sounds pretty good. They're not doing anything. <laughs> cool. Green, white, not do anything. Seems pretty good for us. Our uh, one on one so far. Oh, that's a good one. They play Yenna Red Tooth Regent. This is the uh, the rare that can copy, uh, copy enchantments, which is pretty powerful, honestly. Um, obviously forms a combo with uh, with the pacifism, but all right, we're going to just play Johan here. I think. Just say go. I could attack and not tap. So if I attack and not tap, and they just block. I just torch tower and just trade two for one and then just quick study, which is great. So I'm gonna attack. Whatever. Attack no tap. This card is very, very powerful in the right deck, so don't mind offering a trade there. Alright, cool. So get number two damage. Play with Johan and Sigo. Can't play a sorcery in your upkeep, you can play an instant, but but yeah. Princess takes flight. So, what kind of bargains do they got going on over here? Attack for four, no blocks. We're drawing a land. Unfortunately, we have no red, uh, no white mana for our click. Um, I should, I should, I should, I should have that land. I should have been playing this first, so whatever. Uh, yeah, let's just draw two. Leaving up red, red? Is that necessary? They can copy it, which is gross. Uh, we draw Slinger and Trainee, sure. Alright. We got some work to do. Now we can attack for six. It's got reach. It's sneaky. Damn. Well, that was a good draw. Uh, we drew the white source for Threadblind Click, which is kind of gas. 
Uh, yeah, this is a big turn to play around Light Blades, I agree. So Light Blades one of the ways to bargain this. Um, we're just going to cast our spells and just, yeah, we're just going to do our Mega Treasure. And then pop this bad boy. Get out of here! Get off my no tricks, plane. please? They have a lot of cards in their hand. All right, there we go. And then no attacks here. So, Princess Take Flight is the kind, is a really good card you can bargain it. And one of the best bargain cards is Light Blades, which is not going to attack here at all. Just going to say go. Come back. Oh, we're coming back. Come on down. All right. This card is not nearly as good, obviously, if you can't uh, if you can't sack it. So, you know, oh, yeah, we're we're in phenomenal shape now, folks. Taking down giants over here, number eighteen mythic. Scar torch tower, play a swamp. Oh wow, they're okay. So they're like, missing a lot of colors here. Sure. Um, what's the next turn for us look like? Maybe it's rats and the trainee. Make some bargain tokens or bargain thingies. In before board wipe, bring it on. You know, bring it on. They're thinking. They are thinking. Hands pretty juiced, regardless, so. What's going on there, Mike? Remember, folks, it's your first time here at that follow button. My name is Jim, Pro Magic Player, full time content creator, watching on YouTube. Take a half a second, like the video, leave a comment, sub the channel, support the channel. If you like Bronson Mythic, want to support the channel, that's how you do it. Want to see it happen? Want to, keep, want to see it keep happening? I like my job. I want to keep it, and uh, you uh, help do that, so. All right, so we're going to tap. And we're going to draw a mountain on top. Sure. So we're just going to jam here. They have light blades, so be it. I don't really care about that anymore, honestly. So we're just going to jam. Eat parsley, new sub. What's your name? Away from welcome. Uh, no pays here. They got the light blades. I have a frenzy, actually. Never mind. Sure, that's fine, I guess. Kill that. And then we're just gonna say go. Fire up some rats. Oh, I, I screwed. I should play the freaking training. I'm, I'm an idiot. Whatever. I have Torch Tower up, I guess, but hopeless nightmare, sure. Uh our hand's really good, honestly. What do we discard? Because I wanna I wanna play the rats and Tome Seeker back to the uh the card draw spell, probably. It's probably the familiar. Which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, sure, whatever. Alright. Sorry, bud. We're at eight. I should have made, uh... The main phase of the rats and just played the, to play the, play the creature, too. It was stupid of me, but... Is there a set where I didn't make it to Mythic? Uh, the only set I didn't make it to Mythic was the, the weird alchemy set. It was like the Baldur's Gate alchemy set. Because uh, it released in such close proximity to Dominaria that I just, like, didn't have time to finish before Dominaria finished up, so. They're going to go for the Stab Wound kill. This is bold. Um, we can always just kill our own creature if we have to, obviously, so. Oh, yeah, I was having internet problems, too, so. Do I want to kill my own sentry? We're way up on cards. Like, getting cheesed out is a bad way to go here. It sucks. I would like to have the familiar back now. That would be a great way to kill it. That sucks. All right, so. Let's see what else they do here. A hollow scavenger. Ugh, uh, Torch Tower is a great answer to that. Actually, it's not because they can't kill it. All right. I'm going to kill this. Feels bad, but whatever. Word 8. So, untap, slam a dragon, attack for a bunch. I think we're pretty good shape here, honestly. We can Tome Seeker back the card draw spell, play all of our stuff. Hello! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Firebolt and Recruiter. Uh, yeah. Recruiter is just good by itself right now, honestly. We... I can Tome Seeker... Alright, let's just let's do this. Maybe Recruiter runs. I don't even know, honestly. If they play, if they play the Hammer Glutton... Oh, okay, that's a card. That's that's a card. That's not fair. <laughs> the number uh, number eighteen mythic player shouldn't have access to a card like that. Uh, but sure.
We could probably still kill them. Uh, Torch Tower does play here. That does work. So we can go like Sack a Rat, Torch Tower, one of these. Unfortunately, that wastes mana. We have two mana unused. I have a Rav Train too, actually. That's fine. Yeah, they were fine here. Um, okay. So we're going to tap blue, blue, Tome Seeker, Bargain. Get back Torch. Uh, There's no really reason to do this now. I'll, I'll do it before I tap out, I guess. Then we'll kill the real one. Because uh, they can return it, possibly. Exiles it, which is gas. Recruiter stays on top, I think. Let me just, like, play trainee. Don't sack with this. I think we're in pretty good shape. Next turn is Recruiter plus, plus, fire, plus the Firebolt. I like the, uh, the multicolor green decks. I'm a pretty big fan. Just like base green, splash everything. Oh, boy. It's funny. This card is totally insane. But I feel like I beat it most of the time. Ugh. They're going to torch me. Sure. Alright. I mean, I'm just blocking. Not dying to a pump spell here, so we have lethal next turn. Block's pretty good, also. And if this goes to the graveyard, I, I can kill a six six. We got a savage slow roll here, or what's the deal? They have the light blades. Okay, so they're gonna blades. They're dead though, right? I think cast. Yeah, they're, they're dead. I got firebolt. Recruiter killed them. Kill this. It takes one. It, di it dies. They play this thing. We firebolt. Recruiter and kill them. Big win, folks. Number eighteen, mythic. Losing to a chump like me. Why didn't they cast their their scavenger? That's weird. Oh, it's a food. No, I tried. I'm sorry. I saw it next to the vault. Uh, I assumed it was a treasure. Uh, still leave it. That's five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're one short. Come on. <sighs> we're one short. That's fine. Whatever. All right. So we just play recruiter attack. Kill the kill, kill triplets. They go. Hope I don't draw a sweet tooth witch. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Play recruiter. Oh, which is only two damage. You're right. You're right. You catch. What do we say, folks? Get off my plane. Get out of here, yet, yet, triplet. Right. You're a one. I'm a three. Give me what I want. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Yes, there we go. Game. Big win. We needed that one, folks. Come on, let's roll. Just keep lining them up for me. Another mythic player. And uh, hands good. Keep. Evolving Wilds. Mountain go. It's only a pause there. Whoops. Goblin Bombardment. Unfortunately, that makes my familiar much worse. Um, makes all the adventure cards much worse, actually. That sucks. All right, give me a scry. All right. Uh, it's basically drawing a card off our land, which is gas. I'm just going to fire them at their face and cast the, all the auto next turn. A barb is pretty good. 
We're getting the rat deck too. Oh man. All right. So, would I rather have an otter or have them have a minstrel? I'm, I'm gonna kill this. I could gatekeeper it, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna say gatekeeper. Actually, let's do that. They want to fizzle my my thing. So be it. Draw torch tower. Oof. Damn. Now what? Um. Torch the monstrosity. They still sack and get a food, but it's like fine. And then I can just like dink them for one, and then play familiar next turn. I think just casting the six five is probably better than like letting them fizzle the bounce. Uh. Yeah. All right. Sure. Let's just say go. We already have six lands, so the 6-5 is pretty good. Yeah, all the adventure cards get much worse against this card. It's pretty brutal. But pretty brutal. All right, there's Minstrosity. Torch it. Take one. Bink! There's nothing? All right. Going upstairs. Get to blow off some damn steam. Play my otter. Quick study is a great draw. This game's this game's uh gonna take a while. So quick study. That's a spell of return with this home seeker also. So feeling pretty good now. It's gonna die. That's great. That is a premium removal spell being cast on my like freaking tutu. Bottom bottom. Love a good bottom. Wait what? Scavenger's good. Um. It's funny because, like, bouncing scavenger is a little awkward. It just gives them more food. But we draw Johan. Do we want to bounce this and give them a food? Give them the option to sacrifice it, too? Or just play Johan? I'm going to play Johan. Black cards is a dragon? All right, that's not bad. Um... No blocks. You're gonna go for some damage. Yes, they are. Sack of food, get in. Take five. 14. Damn. The funny thing is, though, like, now they can't really attack anymore, so I'll just block. So, like, the stab wound's kind of weird here, you know? Top card's island. I saw I the enchantment to play, basically, so. Um, now we just slam dragon and try and kill them. Can't bounce this for many reasons. Bottom of these lands. Top card is Gadwick's first duel. It's pretty good. Dragon wins the race. Yeah, I think so. I can curse Johan just to kill it. That's a that's a nice one. Good good play, Thunderwunk. I might have gotten there on, on my turn, but that's actually really, really good. Just get rid of the Johan. Division, new sub, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Welcome to the Pile Drivers. They have a fight spell here. I need any more than that. That is so aggressive. <laughs> like, uh, all right. That's terrifying, but sure. They just freaking fling the scavenger at me. What a what a what a insano person. Uh, all right, we're obviously gonna use first duel here and just get rid get rid of this. Um. Don't, I gotta want to study first though. We can try and draw. Get a spell on top. We get one more shot of value from this thing. Can't bounce it, no. Stop gap tree. That's pretty good. Uh, so we could, like, just bounce the Johan now. Hmm. We can gab, gab like this and just kill it, yes. Um, I cannot cast the 
the side of that. It's really awkward. Um, I only have one card left. You know, we are five as a god. We're effectively at four. You know, we really need to like close this game out. Um. I'm gonna bounce the Joe on. Just lead back the dragon. We definitely died some stuff here, but say go. Magic new sub watch anyway from Welcome. Like, oh, all right. Two more creatures and we're dead. We need to close this game out as fast as humanly possible. I can't let them, hit, let, them hit, let them hit me once, though. Any single point of damage is another is another is another, uh, another big problem for us. God damn it! Uh, four, three. This sucks. All right, let's play two creatures and go. Card is very good. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. So now we're effectively at one. Nate, new sub, appreciate it. I mean, I can like curse this blocker blocker all right what can I, what can I do you know bounce the ticket force them to sack the goblin what Yeah, Dragon can get in here, so do that. You play this, and play this. And attack, yeah, so he gets to attack. We need to close this game out, obviously, before they draw a creature, so, like... What's up, Nate? Appreciate it, thanks so much. Is there a Menace? There's no Menace. Oh, this thing has Menace. Oh, shit, we're dead. God, come on! Why is the card have Menace and Trample? I think they have that creature. That's true. That's true. All right. It's all right. It's going to be okay. Just please draw a land. Just do me a favor. Just draw freaking land. Bounce the rat, they just sack and fizzle it. We have like no way to gain life in our entire deck, right? <laughs> Savage, this is like we just literally can't win. They scry to and draw a card. It's like they, it's like to miss here, they need to like miss so hard. We're not that on board. It's like so hard for them to miss here. Top bottom, yeah, we're dead. Oh man, what a tough one. Ugh. That sucks. We're in like total control of this game too. Like we had to, we had to get cheesed out by a fling and a bombardment. Could I have like taken less damage at some point, maybe? That's not a... That's not a win. I 
I mean, the Wicked Roll is a win in two turns, but... What am I going to do? We die to the Wicked Roll in two turns, and we also die to any creature. So... Uh, that also kills us. Nope, it does not. Okay, so... Opponent is, uh, they can still draw a creature, but now the Wicked Roll part doesn't really work. And now I get to attack them back better, too. Oh, did I punt, maybe? I don't think so. Should have fought the blocks, because the Berman. Yeah, I should have fought the blocks. I, that was a 3-3, three, three, never mind, it's good. I can't imagine the last card of their hand matters. We, 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 we would just be dead if it did. They would just play whatever it is and killed us instead of the thing, so. Alright, I mean, you're telling me there's a chance. Alright. Top cards of Mountains. Scry. Torch the Tower... Torch the Tower stops the Wicked Roll, I guess, right? Sort of. Okay. Well, I guess, like, we need to leave it on top, though. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six. Because this targets, right? Oh, no, yeah, target, yeah. It sucks we're just dead to any creature, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. I guess I get to sack the rat. Hold on a second. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, oh yeah, I guess that works. Alright, sure. Yeah, this is just like, this is really convoluted. Sure. Bitter chill. Doesn't really do anything. Alright, so we're dead to any creature. The problem is the food means that we can't kill them in two turns. Four, five, six. We have nine damage. They have a food now, too. They also die to any creature. <laughs> yeah, sure. Man, what a what a game, you know? Ugh. All right, I guess. That was a stinky one. I feel like we got cheesed out that game. Maybe if we had, uh... Maybe if we had, like... If there was, like, some point we could have taken less damage. Oh, no! All right, Mulligan. Back against the wall here. Oh, never mind, keep. Beautiful hand. Love it. Dump this crappy spellcaster. Hatching plans, torch tower. Couldn't ask for more. Keep. Goodbye, she spellcaster. 
You land on top? Yeah, sure, whatever. We'll keep it. Gotta make land drops, so. Alright. Hatching plans! Hatching plans! I like to draw cards and kill your poor little bunny. Poor little guy. Aww. Poor little guy. Sorry, dude. Draw it up! Alright. Uh, familiar can stay. Brutal. Bun aside. No mountain yet, but we'll figure it out. Knight of Doves, sure. It's gonna bounce this bad boy. Make him do it again. Cast a Johan, cast a dragon. Pretty far ahead here, not gonna lie. It's a cute little guy. That's the reason why I think if you play this card, you should hold on to it until it's a 4 4 or some larger larger sizing. Try and keep it alive. Playing it earlier, just asking for it to get killed. Draw the mountain right on time. Alright, so still just gonna be the uh, the Johan though. Johan! Top card sentry. How about a dragon? I think they have the pacifism. Yep, so they're, they're, they're gonna exile it too. Good time to be a dragon! Big one. Man, that, that, that card never works. One dragon, please. Top cards are Grabby Giant. Keep the Giant. It's a big one. It's a big boy. Oh my God, Becky. Don't have passes number two. Oh, I got Shorter Midnight. Sure, that's fine. I got a token. Whatever. It's fine. Plenty of good cards here. Barbie Dragons. Right, so, to play the Gatekeeper. They can't have another kill spell, right? It's not possible. There's no way, no how. Oh. Alright. Do they have the roll? Because I got the familiar. I don't think they do. I don't think they do, folks. Cut in. Cut in's also good. Um, I'm just going to go for everything here. Just cut in here. See what happens. And hey, we have the uh, the familiar to back it up to. Four hours. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I missed the message. I'm sorry, but you're great. Thank you. All right. Yeah, they kind of light blades. We're sure we play on light blades here and try and kill this. They have like a different trick. It sucks, but they have a different trick. All right. That's thanks. Um, better to know now than later, though. I'm just going to say go. If I attack for six and they gain four, it's pretty bad for us. We'll just say go. We have Fireball next turn to kill it. Matter of fact, what's up? Thanks to Risa. Appreciate it. All right. So buy back the pacifism. It's pretty good. All right. We got some work to do. Wish I'd attack now, obviously, but it's fine. Eleven. There's the 4-3. Go Firebolt. I think we actually go Familiar and then Firebolt on their upkeep. Nah, uh, that sucks too. Um, whoa, get this up. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Matter of fact, you're great. Um, hmm. Thanks, Matter of Fact. I appreciate that. Very kind. So the familiar can block the wear fox. Yeah. I could just giant too, I guess. No, I can't, I can't do both. Yeah, alright, sure. Let's say go. No attacks. Upkeep, just kill this. Now I have a block. Got some work to do. With their hand. Yeah, they have a card draw thing. I have a pretty good hand too though, so guess both these next turn. What do you got, friend? Draw a card. Trading Otter for Fox would be great here. Goodbye. 
All right. Draw a quick study. Um, we got to play two creatures here. I think Familiar is getting in now because it has no good blocks anymore, really. And we're just going to play the Giant and the Sentry. I hope they can't kill my Giant. How I like the format? Uh, it's fine. It's a middle-of-the-road format. Not, not great. Not bad. Ugh, that's a scary one. You're a monster. All right. Really bad. Uh, they get some monster roll. I guess it's a 6-5. I guess we'll double block it. But it's a trade. We, we have to block those. So That one stings a little bit. We have card draw on our hand, though. This isn't that bad, but it's not good. Yeah. Have to block. I guess I could block with, like, the giant and the 1-1 one, one, and try and keep the sentry alive, but it doesn't line up very well with board anyway. I don't know. Actually, that's, that's, that's just better, yeah. Because, like, I'd rather have a 2-3. They have a 2-2. Two, two. They have a quick study. Better, better double blocks. Good tap the 4-4. Four, four. It has vigilance, too, so it's a good mana sink. Yeah, it's fine. 4-5, kill this. We take uh, a point or two of trample, which is fine, I think. They have a second trick, it sucks, but most of the tricks make a roll, so. Yeah, rolls are a big deal. Oh god, I don't have like to freaking the plus four plus four. I can't take that right now. No! Killer. Alright. Start with slight. Another giant. That's really bad for us. All right, uh, we're in big trouble. Big, big trouble. This game was going so well for us too. Like, Please stop having it. No, that was not good. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just bitching. <laughs> Have to block again. Uh, I guess I keep the sentry. <sighs> we still have quick study, which is good. Um, I guess we just block all three, right? Well, if they kill us, we lose anyway, but... In case they have... Yeah, because it also stops Trample, too. All right, sure, whatever. Do your thing. Blow me out. Give me a, a Titanic growth. All right. You leave the Sentry. Can you please stop playing things? How did I use that pre-combat? Just put it on the freaking bird, right? What are you doing? You're so good, but you're not good enough here. No, I think we're dead. All right. It's four, four, block here, block. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't do that last turn. I don't understand. Like, they had a free attack for three. You know, the giant blocks that, that I can't kill the other thing. It's like a free... Free, uh, free beatdown. I'm just dead. This is... That's seven. Yeah, we're just pretty dead. All right. We go to two. Not too much we can do about it. I don't think we have any outs here. It's comedy. It's comedy! I don't think these jokes are very funny, but it's a comedy. Uh, B. 
bitter chill tome seeker it's not close enough i could actually cast both of these like if i could tap this down and play this chump block this i'm still dead all right well that sucked um I don't know what to tell you, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Insult to injury, I know, right? I think that was our third loss, right? We've had some really, really rough games today. Yeah, two and three. All right, I mean, this definitely wasn't a great blue-red deck. Uh, again, not really spell-heavy enough to be super successful. Uh, didn't think it was bad at all, though. I mean, double Torch Tower, hatching plans, pretty decent curve. You know, some good top-end stuff. I don't, I don't, it's, it, it is pretty frustrating because like, like I said, so obviously I had, to I had to draft off stream to get back to the rank I was at before the reset because I was at Worlds and stuff. Just crushed everyone. Just seven, seven wins almost every draft. Just like breezy games. And now I'm back on stream and just like, nope, just pound, 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 you know, not playing perfectly. I was making a mistake here or there. You know, the stream just is, is distracting in that way too. Uh, so I did miss a few things here or there for sure. Like giving up equity, like, you know, one punt loss per draft is a pretty big tax, you know, kind of thing. But goddamn. You know, god damn, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, this drive wasn't as bad, but that first drive we played today, we just, like, they just pounded the shit out of us. Like, just in, insane draws and stuff. But, yeah, all right. Um, that's the episode, 19. Looking pretty rough for the uh, for the over here. So, YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Peace.